What is up, YouTube? Out in the garage. Shirts finally came in. I've been talking about them. Pretty stoked on it. I know they're going to be backwards. Maybe they're not. I don't know how this works when I upload, but Honda motor. Got the cylinders on and glued in. <clears throat> Got the valves into the head, which means we are ready to start slapping this thing back together, get the top end done so I can get this back to the shop and out of my garage. Lots of work to do. I got a month to get this all built and put into a bike. Time crunch. Got to scramble. So let's get turned around and start slapping this head together. Okay, so we got the cylinder propped up on a hammer, or the motor propped up on a hammer. Obviously, this oil filter housing, if you're a Honda guy, it is upside down. I just slapped it back on so I didn't lose it and I didn't have oil pouring everywhere I set this block. Now, what we need to do is put the head gasket on. This is all scuffed and cleaned. Everything's in good shape. So we will drop the head gasket on. Um, I think I'm going to try and rotate this up so top cylinders at one. I don't know if I really need to do that yet or not. I haven't had to time one of these Honda motors in quite a while. But let's start with the gasket because we know we're going to need that. Need some dowel pins, which should all be in the Honda head bag. I know there's a ton of detail stuff on the top side of the head that we're going to have to figure out here in a little while too. Should have cleared off some bench space first. That would have made my life a lot easier. Let's start with the head gasket. <clears throat> Much better. Okay. Like I said, I just wanted to get this one closer to the top dead center. Don't know if I'm at the right mark not or not. We'll address that one in a little while. Now, oh, getting way ahead of myself here. All right, so since we did powder coat this cylinder, these have a little bit of a powder edge where we taped everything off. I'm just gonna hit this with a file real quick and then we'll get rolling. So fine file, like I said, I'm not going crazy on this. But I do want to take off any of these powder edges. It's very faint, very small. Okay. Honda head. More timing chain. Fishing. Pull the zip ties through, which will pull the chain through. Then, no, I'm standing right in front of you guys, but there we have it. Now, uh, these dowel pins are going to have to get tightened down a little bit. Now we got the head on. Love tapping required just to get that seated back on the dowel pins. The dowel pins are now seated on both. Then we get to start putting these bolts back in. All right, so when we're getting back to putting the actual motor motor together, we have to torque the head down first and then I'll start doing the rest of the stuff. Um, we got all of the washers over here and the acorn nuts that go on them. So here's your copper washers. And drop these on every one first. The copper ones went on the inside of the motor. <clears throat> And they use acorn nuts here. So 
I'm just going to get everything kind of set up and threaded on. Then we'll come around and do the rest of them. There are these two that run through these passages that I got to slap back in too. Those ones are going to be a little bit different. I'll show you how you can tell those apart in a second. And the only goofy ones we got here are these ones, which I believe one here. I'm actually going to double check on the book for this, but I'm fairly certain these are the ones that go right here. Making sure I got all these washers in, all the way around. And the last two we got are these dirty ones down here. And I know that it's these ones because they are covered in oil. Non-acorns on the outers and they're also rusted doesn't really matter you're never gonna see them so these ones will go down here and then we can start torquing the head down Just trying to get them all started here perfect let me grab some wrenches and we will start snugging this down all right so 12 mil on these ones I'm not gonna fully torque anything this is literally just sneaking up on them I think the rest are all 13s all the way across the board. Alright, so an electric ratchet doesn't have a lot of torque, but at least go and the same X pattern, now we can go through and actually torque the rest of the stuff down. Well, the best part about doing YouTube videos, you get to go back and relook at some stuff. So I just did, uh, if you notice now, if you've been paying attention to the details, I had these two head bolts reversed. This tall one does sit one over in between the upper intake valves. So I flipped those two around and then realized some critical parts that uh, I also forgot. Had I done all of this right away, it probably wouldn't have been as bad, but having this apart for so long, I did want to double check and reference some stuff. These little oil squirter pumps. That hole in between these two, uh, the head and the cylinder mating surface, get an O-ring and then get pressed back in between. I was wondering why it looked that way. Well, now I know. So, I'm gonna re-loosen up all the bolts, re-yank the head, not that big of a deal, nothing's torqued yet, yank that, Put these little injector jets in there, or oiler jets, or whatever they are. I don't know, they look like jets to me. Throw these back in the block, because that's going to be important. Then, we can actually start the head install. Okay, got the washers out. Missed a stud of frustration, I guess. But, got all the washers off except for the two on this inside section. But those won't fall on the motor, so I'm not going to worry about those. Now, here's where I messed up. These, right here, are the little oiler jets. These are going to drop back into here, but I'm going to replace the gaskets on these because I should have them in that gasket kit. Press those back in, and we should be go good to go after that. Another thing I missed, somehow, dowel pins. Four of them, not two. Leave it to Honda to overdo it. But... Again, this is probably something I would have picked up on had I had this done a while ago, but these have been off the bike for a long time, and I forgot. Super fun playing the find the right gasket game. Here is what I found in the bag. Here's the jet. Luckily, when I took the old one out, this stayed on, the rubber at least. So, substantially bigger, but it's also got the right top hat shoulder. Pretty sure... That's just compressed and worn. This one is new, so we're gonna slide this on. Then, pound these on in. Just like so. 
I gotta find the matching gasket in the bag of O-rings. Wing. Drop these back on. A little bit of oil on this. Like so. That should be better. Thought that looked a little weird when I was dropping this together. Didn't take the time to look. I'm glad I did. Uh, had I known that I was going to install the head as a mock-up, I would have done this before too. But we did have that stud that got loose. So what we're going to do here is do a double jam nut. Just crank this down so it stays seated. Unfortunately, I have next to zero metric stuff here. So I'm going to run this down upside down. These are the two bolts from the front head. Pinch these together. And make a lock stud installer tool. Where's my metric? And that alleviates that problem. One more quick check for some reason. I think there might actually be an O-ring around these two. Double check the bottom of the head. I think these go in here. I'm gonna pause you guys real quick, double check on that, but I feel like there was an O-ring in there. Version two, here is where we're at. I got the head off. Dowels are set in. This is looking a lot better. I don't know how I messed that up. Well, actually, I do know exactly how I messed that up. I'm not taking my time and making sure I know what I'm doing before I start trying to slap parts together. So we get to do the head twice. Gasket is on. Oil restrictor jets are in. Those are clear and flowing. I uh, double checked those to verify. We have the O-rings around the cylinder studs here, cylinder studs here. Chain drop back in, but it's on a zip tie, so that's fine. Now we are ready to actually install the head. Whatever. I make mistakes just like everybody else. But I was looking at it and it seemed off. Something doesn't seem right. Stop. Double check. Look up a manual or something if you can. If you can't, make YouTube videos and you can document all your successes and failures. So we'll fish this chain back up one more time. Like so. Now we can sneak this down. Make sure you're lined up on the dowels. With four, it's definitely going to go a little bit better. Dead blow, my favorite tool. Now, I'll set you guys over here. Now I'll relay out the washers and O-rings all over again. Since it was so much fun the first time, and just so I don't forget, I'll put the important different head bolts on first. Those are the ones that go there. Then we'll snug everything down. Uh, the torque spec on these, I did look that up just now too. 14 pounds, uh, we're gonna go 15 because I can. I am gonna use the electric impact one more time, uh, the ratcheting one, just to get these on a little bit quicker. Then we'll do the final torques. 
When you're having that much fun, you might as well do it twice, right? This is one of those situations where I do wish I was a cleaner worker, because this is kind of a pain. So like I said, I'm using this just to speed up the getting them down and snugged on, but I'm not torquing these at all. Start at the inside, work your way out. I'm sure there's probably a much more detailed torque sequence available in a service manual that I don't have. But that'll work for now. Let me grab a torque wrench, get that set up. Uh, what are we going to do here? Let's go 10 pounds and then the 15. It's not a lot. Okay, we got the torque wrench all set up, 3 8 drive for 10 pounds. It's so weird doing this. It's such a light torque spec. Clickety click. Good there. All right. Put this away and then we'll come back to the cam.